Hello everyone. Welcome back to Emmanuel Tutorials. Today we will be seeing a doubt which was asked by one of our students in the comment section which is a sketch the signal example. If you also have any doubts related to signals and systems or any other concept in electronics or computer science engineering please let us know in the comments and we will try to help you with that. Also do share this channel with your friends in need. So let's start. Here we have a unit step signal kind of example. Let's divide the signal into two parts so that it becomes easier for us to get the result. So first we have u of 3t plus 1 which is a shifter and time scale version of the unit step signal. Similarly the second part is also shifted and time reversed version of the unit step signal. So first you know unit step signal is a signal with amplitude 1 which starts from t equal to 0 and u of to get u of 3t plus 1 first using the precedence rule we will be doing shifting so shifting meaning I will be advancing the signal by 1 so advance meaning shifting to the left unit step signal to the left by 1 which means this signal will start from minus 1 with amplitude 1 and u of 3t plus 1 will be the time scale version of u of t plus 1. So u of t plus 1 starts from minus 1 but if we are going to get 3t so it's going to be divided by 3. So the time axis needs to be divided by 3 that is whatever signal up appears at minus 1 will appear at minus 1 by 3 what appears at 0 will appear at 0 by 3 what appears at 1 will appear at 1 by 3 what appears at 2 will apply uh, appear at 2 by 3 so similarly what I have done is at uh, in between minus 1 I have draw, uh, put down the points that is minus 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 then minus 3 by 3 is minus 1 similarly it will be minus 4 by 3 and so on on the right hand side you don't need to make much of a change so you can directly plot a 1, 2, 3 so on and on the left hand side it's important to plot because we have to show the starting point of the signal and the starting point is going to start at minus 1 by 3 so that is what I have written here and also drawn the signal starting from there so this is our signal u of 3t plus 1 now for the next part which is u of t my u of minus t minus 2 again we will be doing first shifting shifting will be the unit step signal to the right by 2 because it's a delay and this signal we need to reverse because you need to get u of minus t minus 2 right and reversal is the last step we have to do in precedence rule so we will just be reversing the signal across the uh, y axis so what will happen the signal will start from minus infinity and end at minus 2 so here you can see the signal starts from minus infinity and ends at minus 2 now what we need to do is we have to add the u of 3t plus 1 signal that we have with the u of minus t minus 2. Now what we can see is that if you just compare both these signals the second signal like the first signal starts from minus 1 by 3 second signal starts from minus infinity first signal ends like goes up to infinity and second signal goes up to minus 2 and in between there is a space which is not or where we where we have the signals value or amplitude as 0 so this is going to be easy because from minus infinity to minus 2 the first signal's amplitude is 0 so when you subtract Right, so here when you say 0 minus the whole second signal, it's just going to be a reversed version. So 
what is going to happen? 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So, minus 1 amplitude from minus infinity to minus 2. So, that is what I have drawn here. So, from minus infinity to minus 2, amplitude is going to be minus 1. And this first signal is starting from minus 1 by 3. And second signal, if you see from minus 1 by 3, there is no amplitude. That is, it is 0. So, first signal minus second signal, that is 1 minus 0 is going to be 1 from minus 1 by 3 to infinity. So, I have just plotted minus 1 by 3 here. So, from minus 1 by 3 to infinity, the amplitude is going to be 1. So, this is what we are expecting when we subtract the signal. Hope you understood this. This is what our output is supposed to look like. If you have any doubt related to this video or any other concept in signals and systems or electronics or computer science engineering, please let us know in the comments and we will try to help you. Thank you for watching.